Hi, this is Nicole Austin for the Sean Petit Creative Team here for another Crash the Stash. I'm going to show you how to make this simple collage using transfers. First you're going to take some gesso. I like the Dina Wakely Media gesso and I'm just going to scrape it on both sides of the page in my journal. Using, I'm using a Dilutions journal here. And then you're gonna, once that dries, you're gonna put the doodle leaves and doodle flowers masks down. And on the left side, I'm using the Dina Wakely acrylic paint in turquoise. And just putting that in the corners. And then going with the uh, Dina Wakely paint in night. And going in the middle, kind of like using, making like a cross pattern. On the other side, I am scraping some paint um, using mostly the color Night and then adding just a tiny bit of the turquoise. And then while that paint is still wet, I'm going to put the Doodle Flowers mask down and then wipe away the paint with the baby wipe. And it just makes a really nice effect. That's why we put the gesso down first so that we you don't end up ripping the page underneath. You're going to do that all throughout the page on the right side. And then once that dries, I decided I want, wanted to put um, images in the middle, so I'm going to put some gesso down, and that's going to help my transfer stand out. I'm just wiping away some of the excess uh, gesso. And just showing that whenever you do a transfer, an image transfer, it's going to be actually the opposite. You just want to make sure you have enough space. So now, once that is dry, I am putting down some soft gel matte medium and pressing my image face down. And this is from the Collage Pack Sunday Inspiration, the flowers. And I'm just pressing down and then making sure I do that on the other side. And you want these to dry pretty good before you start the next step, which is adding uh, a damp rag on top. And so once you add the damp rag, you're going to start to kind of peel away some of that paper. And that'll show you whether or not the transfer is ready. If it's peeling away everything, it's not quite ready. And it's almost like a rub-on, like a tattoo. You're just kind of um, pressing the damp cloth and then gently gently rolling away the top layers and you want to be careful not to scrape too hard because then you will just wipe away the entire image so here I'm just pressing down the damp rag um, over the image and then just slowly slowly rolling and you see me rolling the paper away and then kind of wiping the extra little crumbles away and I'll be doing that on both sides and sometimes the transfers can be a little bit tricky, but if you just keep at it and keep practicing, you'll, you'll get it, you'll get the hang of it. You'll see in this project, the left side turned out really nice, but the right side, not so much. So it's just kind of hit and miss sometimes. But to protect the image, what I like to do is add a little bit of Mod Podge over the top, let it dry, and that way it's protected from any other um, layers. And here now I'm just kind of adding some of my scrap paper, scrapbook paper, um, deli prints, um, book pages, and just kind of trying to get an idea of where I want my collage to be. I haven't quite put it down yet. I'm still deciding on the composition. So I put the stencil behind the collage papers and I'm just stenciling, some, stenciling in some more of that night paint. I just like that dark color. I'm also sort of covering up the quote unquote mistake of the transfer I tried before. In the corners there, I'm using the Doodle Flowers masks just to sort of brighten up um, and give some nice contrast. Now I'm just taking the night paint again and connecting over to the left side. So it's kind of nice to work with um, two pages and just remember to try to kind of connect both sides. And also very the colors around so on the right you'll see it's really dark and on the left it's really light so I'm just sort of kind of trying to spread that dark blue color around and just get it all to feel kind of balanced 
And it's nice to make the colors sort of go off the page, off the corners a little bit. Um, just helps the eye travel around the whole composition. And after I decided where my collage papers are going, after that dries, um, I'm adding some um, golden high flow acrylic in teal. I'm just getting some drips coming down the page in the top right corner and then repeating that in the on the other side too. It's just nice to kind of have a little bit of symmetry on both sides. You don't want it exactly the same, but it's nice to repeat some elements on both sides. And then I'm adding in um, just some words. Um, you can cut them out of book pages or write it or stamp it, whatever you feel like. And now I'm using um, some of the Stabilo Woody 3-in-1 pencil in red and just sort of making little tiny marks. Uh, I like that there's red, I like to kind of move the color around so that there's a little bit of red and pink elements on both sides. I'm just kind of letting that, helping those little tiny bits of color connect the two pages. And now I'm adding some uh, Liquitex paint marker splatters in lime green. And I'll do that with a bunch of different colors. I've listed it all in the blog post, you'll see. And now I've decided that I need those flowers to stand out. So I'm going back over with the turquoise and just slightly um, dabbing with my finger. I just like the delicate look of that. So it's just a nice kind of way to blend the colors. Um, but it's really, what I'm trying to do here is just really emphasize that flower and also connect it a little bit to the other parts of the page that are that light blue color. And then blending it in again with the Stabilo pencil in red. And now tracing with a Stabilo Marxol pencil in black and just tracing that flower and the stems. It's just a nice way for your focal image to stand out. And just want to make sure you have a really nice sharpened edge so that you can get some real precise details here. And what I like to do is I like to just make little sketchy marks. Keep it real free and loose. Don't try to trace exactly real hard lines. Just try to try to make it look a little bit sketchy. And, um, and then later you're going to go over that with a water brush and that will um, really darken those lines and make it pop out really nicely. And careful not to squeeze the brush too much. Um, if you do, no, that's no problem. You can just enjoy the little drips that come down. Um, if you make any mistakes, you know, you can definitely take like a paper towel and just dab up any extra water and start over again. That's what I like about uh, the Stabilo pencil. It's really easy to work with. And then last, I just sort of um, trace over those um, words in the same manner with the Stabilo pencil and the water brush. It just gives it a nice little, little bit of shading. And then here I'm just adding just little tinier marks with the black Stabilo pencil. I'm just trying to balance everything out. And then the last, the last bit is just to add um, bigger marks with the jumbo um, paint pen. And then the last part that you can't quite see is uh, just adding some splatters that you can see in the details here. So I hope you're inspired to create something of your own and thanks again.